good working relations are essential to the functioning of devolution and ultimately to the stability of the political union. Yet this has been the neglected dimension of devolution for many years. I'm Nicola McEwen and in a series of ESRC funded projects, my research drew attention to the importance of intergovernmental relations and also to the weakness of the machinery and the processes designed to manage these relationships in the UK. These weaknesses were laid bare during the Brexit process, when all governments recognised that leaving the European Union created new challenges for the UK's own system of internal governance. They agreed to work together to design a new, more effective system that would be fit for purpose. But the relationships between the UK and devolved governments were also severely strained by the Brexit process. Devolved governments were unable to influence UK policy on Brexit, but yet were profoundly affected by it. Effective intergovernmental relations require empathy and mutual understanding, for example, through learning about and respecting the roles and responsibilities of each administration. It also requires respecting the political and democratic context within which each administration operates. I had the privilege of informing and shaping the Joint Review of Intergovernmental Relations commissioned by the Prime Minister and the leaders of the devolved governments. Our report and subsequent engagement with officials shaped the design of the new intergovernmental machinery that emerged from the review earlier this year. Working with Professor McEwen, she is a trusted source of expertise on intergovernmental relations by both senior officials and ministers within UK government. As a lead official for the UK government in the Intergovernmental Relations Review, my team and I relied heavily on her work. Her reports, articles and blogs and her regular engagement with me and my team supported our policy development and often provided the evidence base underpinning policy change. I also had the opportunity to undertake a secondment with the Scottish Government and worked with officials within its UK relations team to develop policy and strategy towards intergovernmental engagement. I worked with officials to deepen their knowledge and understanding of intergovernmental relations, to build policy capacity and also to support their wider engagement with the academic community. With Nicola on the team we were able to draw in a deep well of expertise insight and challenge, not just into the mechanics of intergovernmental relations, but also into the cultural and constitutional issues at stake. It matters that the governments within the UK have arrangements that enable them to work together, even if there's profound disagreement about policy, as there often is. It's also important for democracy that we have arrangements that support parliamentary accountability about the way the government's interacting. The relationships between governments largely take place behind closed doors, and that makes it really difficult for parliaments and the public to hold them to account for the positions that they take. I served as an advisor to a Scottish Parliament committee and also as expert witness in 27 committee inquiries across the UK's legislatures. My advice helped parliamentarians to scrutinise intergovernmental relations. My evidence informed committee recommendations in parliamentary debates helping to shape new law. I'm proud to have played a part in supporting the joint review of intergovernmental relations and informing wider debate about its importance. The changes that were announced in January of 2022 are certainly promising, but my research also makes clear that if these changes are to restore trust and build a more effective system of intergovernmental relations, these changes must be accompanied by empathy, by a willingness to share power, and by mutual respect for each administration.